What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back. So I had a question on one of my live streams, which I'll link the live stream below if you wanna watch the whole thing. But it was a Q&A, I was letting people call in and someone called in and was asking about how I handle uh, down days, you know, or, or feeling burnt out. And I thought it was very interesting and it really kind of like made me realize that I really haven't had a down day in a long time. I haven't really felt down, like really down. And I did in the beginning of my career. And even halfway through my career, there was a lot of down moments. Um, there was even down moments up to maybe three or four years ago where I had a lot of down days and felt burnt out. And I didn't really associate the two. I didn't really associate, you know, feeling down and burnt out. Uh, I didn't really, you know, eat, but it's the same thing. You know, I, I think that the, the down feeling kind of results from being burnt out. And so this agent was asking me how I handle this, and it really kind of made me think about these situations. And I said, you know, I need to make a video about this because this is very important how this all happens. So I told him, you know, I said, it's not about necessarily, you know, what do we do when we feel down? Because he was asking me, like, you know, I feel down, should I make my calls if I'm feeling down or, you know, I'm just kind of tired or whatever, whatever it is. And I said, you know, when I used to feel like that, when I was making all my calls and everything, you know, I wouldn't make any calls when I started feeling like that. I would just kind of switch over to busy work, internet work, you know, note taking, uh, emails, um, marketing, uh, postcards, stuff like that. I would kind of switch over to, to the more, you know, non-social activities that are still very productive, things that you need to do. But I would kind of switch away because I didn't want that down feeling to translate through my phone call to the person I was talking to. You know, when we're making our calls, that's kind of a first impression that we're making on people. And we want to be on the top of our game. That's why I always say to make your calls early in the morning because that's when I feel like I'm at the top of my game. Right? That's why I say to drink a lot of water is because it helps you feel good. Right? You don't realize it, but it helps you feel good um, through the day. And so I want to be on top of my game when I'm talking to prospects, especially for the first time. So I don't really want to make calls if I'm feeling down, if I'm feeling kind of burnt out. And so the more I started thinking about this, the more I realized and I told the agent that it's not necessarily about, you know, what do we do when we feel burnt out? We need to kind of find the root of why we're burnt out. And he didn't even use the word burnout. He used the word down. He felt down. And I said, man, I think you're feeling down because you're burnt out. And, he, and you could hear his voice. He was like, oh, yeah, that kind of makes sense. And what it all boils down to is, is that this, this is common for people that are in the beginning of their career because they're so um, like obsessed with trying to succeed. And they're so, you know, they're just getting started. So everything just seems like there's all these successful people out there. And here you are, you don't have any sales or maybe 10 sales or 20 sales. And you just like, I got to ramp it up. I got to get there. And so you're spending every waking minute either putting in the work or thinking about the work and trying to strategize what your next move is going to be or whatever the case may be. And so what, what you have to get really good at is shutting your brain off when you leave work at five o'clock, six o'clock, whenever it is, shutting your brain off from work. Because what happens is, and this is true, this is true through the beginning, this is how it was for me. So I know exactly how this goes is that in the afternoons, in the evenings, all the way till the time you're going to bed, even when you're laying in bed resting, you're laying in bed resting, you're watching TV, you're, you're relaxing or whatever, your mind's still going, thinking about real estate and how you're going to succeed and what deals you have going on and if this is going to fall through or what are you going to do this, what are we going to do tomorrow, how are we going to make it, how are we going to do it? And your brain staying in that high level of activity burns you out, okay? You have to learn how to balance resting and working. And when, and when you rest, you think, oh, that's just my body resting. No, that's your mind resting. You have to stop thinking about real estate for a second and do something to keep your mind off of it and relax your mind 
Okay, if you don't do this, then you're not gonna feel recharged the next day. You're gonna feel down the next day. And maybe you can go, you know, a couple weeks, you know, a couple days, a couple weeks, or even months where you do think about it all night and you come in and you feel great and you're still getting after it, but at some point, that's not gonna work and you're gonna come in starting to feel down and you're wondering what's wrong. And I'm telling you what's wrong. You have to shut it off mentally and let your brain recharge for the next day. And also hydration. You need to drink a lot of water. I talk about this in my 28 day program. We have to stay hydrated every day, all day long. Sip on water all day because when you become dehydrated, you feel down and you're not making as good as decisions. You're not yourself. You're not your, the right personality to really be in front of people and do business. Now, the reason that I haven't had one of these down days or burnout days in a long time is because at some point, once I got to a certain level of success where I wasn't worried about how I was gonna get there because I was there, that's when I started to shut my brain off at nighttime when I didn't have to worry about you know, how I'm gonna succeed because I, I made it. And so when I started doing that, ever since then, um, basically almost, it was almost about the time that I started selling 100 a year, about the time I started selling 100 a year, I haven't really had like a down day. It's not because, you know, oh, you have all this money or all this success or all these deals closing. No, it's, it's way deeper than that. It's because I've learned how to balance shutting off my mind and resting my brain and also the philosophies behind the fact that I understand closings happen every day forever. Business is unlimited. And so when you understand these philosophies that I talk about, it puts your mind at ease where you don't have to worry. Oh God, what if the market crashes? Oh God, what if, what if, you know, what if these deals fall through? Oh, oh gosh, what if this, what if that? Um, it puts you in a position where you can rest your mind and not worry. Okay, worrying is what is killing most of you. You're worried about this, you're worried about that. And I've said it and I say it all the time, 95% of the stuff you worry about never happens. And so then you're worried about something that's never gonna happen and in the 5% that does happen, you can handle that when it happens. So there's nothing to worry about. So it comes down to really believing in yourself, believing in the fact that closings happen every day, you just gotta put the work in, and then shutting your mind off when you go to home and start resting. Not just your body, but your mind has to rest as well or you'll start to have these down days Really, you're burnt out, but you think you're just down, but you're really just burnt out and dehydrated, right? You didn't shut your brain down, you didn't rest, and you're not drinking enough water, period. That's it. Now, if something comes up that's a disaster in your business, if you are rested, if you are hydrated, you're gonna handle that a million times better. You're gonna handle it you know, with a better attitude, you're gonna handle how you actually handle the, the situation directly, you know, what decisions you make, what you say to people, how you're gonna fix the situation, you're gonna handle that beautifully, okay, and everything's gonna work out fine. So start to take it easy on yourself in the evenings. Know that you're putting that work in, okay? Get up early, go to the office, grind, 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 grind. Talk to people, help people, put deals together, show properties and just continue the process. It's a process. It's not gonna happen overnight. Even Quintavious Burdett that sold over 100 properties in his first year, he has a four point system that I talk about and once he hits those four points, he's done for the day. Sometimes he leaves the office at 10 o'clock in the morning and goes home and plays Fortnite. I mean, it's insane because he understands that he can't burn himself out. He gives himself a goal He's gonna work, 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 and grind to hit that goal. And then once he hits it, boom, he's done for the day. Now he's gonna relax his mind. He knows he did what he had to do. He's gonna relax his mind, and he's gonna take care of himself. And now he's at a really amazing balance in his life where he can do so many things because he's not burning himself out. He has the energy, and he can get out there and do it again tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. And so I think it's really smart what he's doing and uh, I wanna share that with you. There's a million ways to look at this, but this is literally the foundation of how not to burn out, how not to feel down. Okay, now there's deeper things, there's depression, there's different things out there, of course, that make you feel down. I understand that, that's a whole nother ball game. 
I'm not talking about that whatsoever. I'm talking about when you work and work and work and work and making your calls, trying to make it happen, and you have those days where you just feel down and you don't know what it is, this is what it is. So do me a favor and like this video, comment below, and let me know what you think about this. What do you think the problem is behind burnout, behind feeling down? Let me know if you have problems yourself with burnout or feeling down. I wanna hear about it. And as always, if there's anything in the world, I mean it, anything in the world that I can do to help you, please reach out and let me know. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm doing this for. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.